cow face pose. The first variation is having the heels close to the hips. Some students may even have like the top knee way up. That's fine, that's where they are, that's where we'll start. For students who are comfortable here, you'll have them take their feet so that they're more in line with the knees. The ankles will be flexed to protect the knees. And then in either of those postures, you can instruct your students to forward fold. Okay, to deepen the stretch, you can think of the upper back pressing into the body and reaching forward. So this will give more of a stretch on the outer hips there. Taking it further still, we can lay back. Okay. One thigh crosses over the other, and when you tell your students this, inevitably you'll get people preparing for a single pigeon, so just remind them that what we're doing here is a different stretch. All right, draw the knees to the chest, and now she's gonna interlace her fingers on the back of her left knee, and then she'll straighten the left knee. And as her arms are pulling her legs toward her face, her hips are resisting away. The next more advanced variation is bending both knees and grabbing hold of the pinky toe sides of the feet. Okay. Often what will happen is students end up with their heels hovering around their hips. You can say, take your arms up and back, pull your feet back like you would in happy baby. Don't in hands not by the hips, feet move to the back of the room and then to the floor by the shoulders. Because this posture isn't practiced very often, it requires a little extra explanation. To assist a student in this, I'm going to draw her hips down and take my knees to the hips and kind of place pressure down. And then I'll take my hands to her hands and put pressure toward the floor. So I'm kind of dividing the legs to stretch the hips. How are you doing? Good. Yeah, you don't want to necessarily eye gaze with your student, but you want to <laughs> you want to look at them closely enough that you know that like if you're taking it too far. And if you're not sure, you just ask. And there we go.